beautiful day for racing in Pell City, Alabama for the second round of the AMA ATV Pro Motocross Nationals at Mill Creek Raceway. You know, there's still too many guys that can win to expect not to battle anybody, so it's going to be some good racing. You know, that Suzuki crew over there has got it going on. Your has got some good riders. You know, they're going to be the guys to beat. And John and Natalia, you can never count him out. Josh Kramer, uh, Josh, that first moto, you had a real nasty spill in that first turn. I bet you flipped at least three or four times. Uh, what happened? Well, uh, I got a good jump, kind of got a little bit pulled uh, about halfway up to start, and I just remember, uh, you know, starting to bag it down and tuck in behind some people, and uh, Cody Miller started squeezing over on me too quick, and next thing I know, my front tire was, were up on his back tires, and after that, everything was kind of just, I shut my eyes and I could just feel myself floating and I just wanted to know when I was going to hit the ground because it felt like I was floating forever. Josh Upperman claimed the lead over Nick DeNoble with this inside line. The 2008 champion wasted no time hunting down the leaders to claim the top spot. Wimmer was in cruise mode as he strolled away to more than a 12 second lead at one point during the moto. After suffering mechanical problems, John and Tally fell back several spots. Dustin Wimmer would ride consistent all the way to the checkers. Chad Wienan took home this $100 check with the fastest qualifying time. Nick DeNoble took home the $250 hole shot award. Everyone got around the first corner for motor number two and Josh Upperman claimed the hole shot. Dustin Wimmer had checkers in his sights and began to charge for the top spot.
Wimmer got around Upperman on this downhill and charged hard to leave the field. Patrick Brown's bike suffered after an early moto tangle. Alabama Clay turned blue groove after a day's worth of hard riding. With first, second, and third leaving town, the real battle was mid-pack with Thomas Brown and Nick DeNoble among those dicing it out for the remainder of the top ten spots. Cody Miller suffered rough luck because he was run over in the first moto pileup and then had mechanical troubles in the second. It was quite the opposite for Dustin Wimmer who pulled a smooth, consistent 1-1 for the weekend. Natalie and Upperman fought all the way to the checkers with Natalie taking third and Upperman right at his heels with the fourth place. Check out Greg G's bike if a lost shock bolt causes his Honda to look more like a lowrider than a race quad. The champagne was sweet for Josh Upperman whose 3-4 finishes landed him a third podium spot behind the 2-2 of Bird and the 1-1 one -one of Wimmer. Top 10 finishers for Milk Creek goes as follows. First, Dustin Wimmer. Second, Joe Bird. Third, Josh Upperman. Fourth, Thomas Brown. Fifth, Jeremy Lawson. Sixth, Doug Gust. Seventh, John Natale. Eighth, Greg G. Ninth, Nick DeNoble. Tenth, Jeremy Warnia.